Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're on to review number 90, and today we're playing Top Gun. I'm sure most of you have probably seen the Nintendo Nerds review of this game, if you've watched a Top Gun review for Nintendo at all. And, you know what, he's not really too far off. The game isn't really that fun. It's not as bad as he makes it seem, but it's, it's definitely not that fun of a game. I hear there's only four levels, I've never made it past level two. I've actually owned this game for a little while, so... And so this review is a little biased because I have played this for more than five minutes initially. But, to move along with the review here, as I was saying, this game is only kind of fun. The music's okay, but you only get the music when you are doing everything except for actually playing the game, so... As someone who's a big fan of in-game music, I really don't like that. But the controls are pretty decent, and for all the flying games I've played on Nintendo, this one's probably my favorite. Like, sure, you can't spin upside down and do loop-de-loops, but the thing is, that doesn't work very well on Nintendo. And it's really disorienting in other games, so I'm kind of glad you can't really do that in this game at all. The only problem with this game, really, is the fun factor does wear off pretty quickly. And landing the plane is a huge pain in the butt. It's really not as easy as it seems, and I really... I don't really struggle with it, but it's just annoying to do. Especially because they don't let you take off, but you have to land, which is kind of weird. And I mean, if we take a look at the cover of this game, it looks pretty decent. I like how the plane is like coming out of the, the background. It looks pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure if you had seen the movie, this cover would have been appealing to you. It has very little to do with the actual movie, which I've never seen, but I mean, since this game kind of doesn't really have much of a story, I imagine it has nothing to do with the actual movie. And if we take a look at the back of the box to see what the description is all about, you're a high flying fighter jaw, the hardest pilot in the heat of a battle. The sun shimmers on the horizon as your arm to the teeth Navy fighter screams from the carrier deck, accelerating into the danger zone. High above hostile waters, your mission is to defend the task force and from enemy attack. Suddenly, bogies flash on your radar, they're everywhere, driving towards you at Mach 2. Only a second to react. You go to guns and arm missiles. Your heart pounding, palms sweat, as you blast into the dogfight with cannons blazing. Tracers zip by your engines, shells shatter your senses, and to survive you'll need more than speed and firepower. You'll need guts and instinct. You'll need to be a top gun pilot. So I mean the description is alright. It's about as exciting as they make it sound for about five minutes. To be honest, I I kind of didn't mind this game as a kid. It wasn't my favorite, but it's something I would play every now and then. But playing it now, it's kind of eh. I'd much rather play other games. But I think I want to actually sit down and try and get through this game one day. So, you know what, I'm going to put this one up for further review. And I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 overall. But thanks guys for watching this review, and I will see you all later. Bye.